Okay. Let's uh, let's jump into this, guys. Um, welcome back to our final day of the five-day revenue uh, boost challenge. I'm really grateful for everyone that has stuck with me for this challenge and anybody that's watching on the live stream. Um, today, I want to uh, discuss in depth um, staying motivated and how to maintain long-term success. All right. So today we'll be bringing everything together that we've discussed and how to maintain our momentum and uh, stay motivated and scale your results. All right. So hopefully everybody that's been listening in and um, viewing this uh, this training has been able to take some heavy and uh, some quality takeaways and is actually in position now to take immediate action, immediate and perfect action. So I want to share with you guys kind of um, a formula that I've used and that's worked for me for a very long time in terms of staying motivated, all right, the and really kind of keeping on track with what my goals are, okay? Um, first thing is is understanding that we're running a marathon here, all right? It's not a race. We want to think about everything um, as being just the next step. Okay. We want to master the thing that we are, we're focusing in on and we want to avoid shiny objects. We want to avoid distractions that get us away from doing the thing that's going to get the biggest result. All right. So for guys that are out there that are listening, if you came to this call and, and you were attracted to generating more revenues, obviously because you needed to add more leads, um, have a better sales process. Um, there's something that's missing that you, you want to improve. Okay. So in order to stay motivated, in order to actually get this implemented, we need to be focused. Okay. A lot of times um, what happens is we get distracted with other shiny objects and we lose our momentum on this. And today what I want to go through is just how much is that costing you? Okay. How much is that setting you back? Um, not following through with some of these, you know, these actions that we've, we've set out over the last few days. Okay. Um, another big, big thing is the importance of coaching and, and community. Um, you know, I've been a contractor over 23 years. I was coached for over a decade. I still have coaches. I still have mentors. I still actively work on improving myself and improving my business. And again, it never stops. All right. If you are investing in yourself, you are inadvertently also investing in your business. Um, and again, it allows us to maintain results. It allows us to add results to it. I can't stress to you how important it is to have a community, especially when we're facing challenges, right? Having a group of people going through the same experience, um, being able to share that experience, being able to you know get information that allows you to um, get past roadblocks. Um, bottom line here, you don't have to live on an island, right? Being a... Being an entrepreneur in general is a lonely, <laughs> a lonely road, right? Not a lot of people that are, um, you know, that are there to support you and that have any idea of what, to, what you're experiencing. All right. So we want to also be able to deal with setbacks on your roadmap and scale your results. Okay. So how to keep motivated and, and keep up the motivation. Um, this is really kind of the, the key, right? So first one is, you know, surround yourself with people on the same journey. Coaches, communities can make all the difference. So here at the Contractor AI, um, we kind of boast that we have a, a, a pretty open community. Um, you know, of course, you can join some of our programs, but I'm not going to hard push that. Um, but, you know, in general, check out our Facebook group, check out our Facebook page. We're there to help. Um, again, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to go alone. Okay. Um, and again, what, what would be the benefits of having a coaching community? Why does it matter? Okay. A lot of people maybe misunderstand this, um, as again, um, you know, really giving information, in my opinion, information is free. If we really want the information that's out there, you know, nothing I'm sharing with you is new or hasn't been said before. Really what we bring to the table here is accountability and actual proven systems that keep you moving forward. All right. That's the key here, right? Having somebody that's got your back and actually having systems in the next play for you. Um, I feel like that's, um, you know, that's going to give you the momentum. It's going to keep your results in place. Um, and hopefully I've been able to communicate that with you guys um, throughout this, uh, this challenge. So um, the key elements of a strong offer, um, you're no longer doing it this alone. Proven systems that take the guesswork out of what to do next. Uh, coaching that gives you an extra push when motivation dips. All right. So um, real life examples, uh, why you've hit a dry spell. Um, or when you hit a dry spell and your leads aren't coming in as quickly as you want, 
a group coaching uh, can keep you connected with other businesses, owners who are dealing with the same challenges. Okay, so that's a good example. Um, but what I want to talk to you guys really about and what I'm going to share an SOP with you. Um, and this is, again, this isn't pushing the, the, the coaching program. This is just literally looking at the cost of inaction versus taking immediate imperfect action, right? Most of the challenge that most uh, contractors face and that I see is that we get a world of information, right? We can all agree. There's a lot of information about all this stuff, okay? But when it really comes down to it, a lot of us waste our time with, you know, coming up with more or needing more information and needing more you know, um, support, it can almost be a, a deterrent. And I know the, you know, we overthink these things, right? Rather than just taking immediate action. So I want you guys to understand um, that there, it, it's okay to sometimes take imperfect action. It doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, it very rarely is, even if you do plan it. Okay. We have to go into, you know, into the situation, understanding that we want to get a result. We want to take the next step. All right. Really just kind of facing over that cliff and, and, and going for it. That's really what's important. So let's kind of take a look at that. Like what is the loss that you face? All right. So let's just take this scenario of whether you implement the things we've talked about or not. Okay. So we can all agree. You could just continue to do what you're doing, right? You can just stay where you're at. So, you know, let's look at the benefits of that. Right. So the benefits of just kind of staying where you're at. Um, short term comfort. Right. We can all admit that's pretty comfortable space to stay in. It's safe. You already know what you're going to get. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, there's zero learning. You don't have to really stress yourself with learning anything new. Right. That's a I guess that's a benefit. Um, lost opportunities. I mean, every day in action means lost revenue, missed clients, deals and delayed growth. Right. There's no real progress to it. Um, you know, they're sort of just kind of holding your pattern. So nothing really is going to change in your world. Um, for some people, that might be exactly what you're looking for, right? Um, but over time, obviously, this is going to compound, right? Negative effects of inaction. So for example, I shared with you some of the effects that you may face. So somebody that has leaned into AI and some of the systems that we've discussed, um, they're going to have a strategic advantage over you very shortly. Yes, in the short in term, they're going to be under a lot more stress. It's going to be, you know, um, not as clear. Um, and, you know, there's obviously risks with anything new. But, I mean, versus what, right? We could just stay where you're at. Um, you know, you certainly won't get any benefits for it, but you won't lose anything. Now let's take a look at the benefits of actual imperfect action, Right. So how many of us learn directly through instructions? Let's be honest. How many of you actually learn through direct instruction? Anybody here really, you know, really good in school, right? When this teacher used to stand up and, and dictate to you how things were. Now, I'll tell you for sure. That's why I'm a contractor, right? I didn't like that. Um, I learned almost everything entirely through mistakes. And, and again, you know, through a certain type of, of learning that I've been exposed to. Um, mentors and stuff along those lines, but we learn through our mistakes, right? We learn through these things. And, and again, that's a benefit of imperfect action. Okay. Uh, revenue generation, right? So taking, uh, by taking action, um, you're going to generate leads, make, um, you're going to make more sales, um, moving forward. Is it going to take a little more work? Yeah, absolutely. But I've given you guys the base point here where you have zero excuses for not increasing your sales. Like literally I've given you all the tools, all the things that just work, bare basic bones, if you implemented those things, all right, you're going to receive the benefits of that. And that means increased sales. You would have to be really, really bad and not have listened to anything to not get a result from what I've shared today. And I hope that that value is um, is clear for everybody here and that they are, this is motivating to actually take action. The next is uh, building momentum, right? So consistent action, no matter how small, builds momentum, creates opportunity and further growth. Really what I'm saying here is it's confidence, all right? When we have clarity and certainty, all right, that leads to confidence. When we have confidence, we take actions, okay? My goal here was to provide some clarity, certainty, all right, help you to build your confidence to get over those, you know, those negative thoughts or those um, limiting beliefs, all right? And now it's the time to take action, okay? 
and we want to maintain our momentum. All right, opportunity capture, acting quickly allows you to capitalize on opportunities, outpacing your competitors uh, who may hesitate, okay? So know this, you guys aren't alone, right? Your hesitation to jump in and, and do all of these things, I mean, most contractors are in the same boat, right? Most contractors have struggled with the exact same situation. The difference is you're not alone, okay? And the difference is, is that you've been given at least something that works, is proven. It's a strategy that we know does produce results, okay? So really, you have no other excuse now to get out of your, your own way, remove the hesitation, and just take the action, okay? Long-term gains. So imperfect action leads to learning, adaption, um, and eventual success. Imperfect actions today is a pathway for tomorrow's optimized solutions. Easiest way I can explain this to you guys um, is it's muscle, okay? We're building a muscle. We're also leading our organization by taking immediate action, okay? Once we have got a solution in place and we can calculate and, and know that this will move us forward at least one to two or three percent, maybe 15 to 20, the, the, the courage to actually take the action is what leadership is, right? We have to be able to take the next step. Um, we have to take the next multiple steps. But I want you guys to, again, take imperfect action doesn't have to be perfect. All right. What that's going to lead to is a buildup of your muscle. You're not going to be, it's not going to be as scary as it, as it is now in the future. Okay. So examples of gained, um, imperfect action. So an imperfect marketing campaign, maybe 15 K in revenue, even with some mistakes, error and reinvestment, let's say a thousand bucks in costs, right? Total net benefit of imperfect action, 14 K, right? So again, how many leads are we going to generate? How much more new business is going to come into our world? So if we made the investment of 15K today, all right, even at a low end, let's say we develop maybe 10% more business, 15% more business over our, our expense, are we not ahead or are we behind? We're obviously ahead. Mm. Okay. So, you know, in our minds, oftentimes we put our up our limiting beliefs around cost and expense, but that's really just an excuse. Most of the time I can easily say and comfortably say that guys stand to lose more money by staying where they're at, where it's safe than they do by taking the risk of, of an investment. Okay. It's very, it's just, it's just numbers. Okay. The more and more you train your brain to think that way, all right, the easier and easier wins become. Okay. It's when we let our limiting beliefs get in the way of our judgment. And we make silly mistakes like not marketing, okay? By not marketing, when we're slow, all right? And I see this all the time. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna cut my marketing budget. I'm, I'm, I'm slowing down. Does that make any sense? Mm. Right? Is that not shooting ourselves directly in the foot? Absolutely. But how do these decisions get made? Well, I'll tell you. The first one is you don't have good influence around you, all right? You're making these decisions from your gut and your feelings, okay? The other thing I see a lot of is we get some success and then we go, holy shit, I'm going to put on the brakes. This is too much, too quick. Boom, I'm going to pull my marketing, not realizing that three months down the road, you're going to be back in the exact same boat and you're going to be disappointed that you, you lost your momentum. Okay, how does that happen? And again, it, you, we're all human beings, all right? We're all doing new things. I'm, you know, I purposely put myself into positions where I'm uncomfortable and you should too. All right. Being uncomfortable is okay. Being unsure is okay. All right. But not taking action is not okay. All right. If you are here and you want to grow and you came to a revenue growth and you plan to do nothing after this, shame on you. Okay. If you are, if you are here and you were listening and you could take two things away from it over the last five days and put them into place and just do those two things, whether you're comfortable or not, just follow through take the consistency action. I guarantee you the results. Okay. I guarantee you will get what the, the outcome that you want. And yet where else can we apply that to? Where else can we use that and other thought processes that we have? Okay. Now, the other thing is inaction does not guarantee growth. Um, and it's, it has significant uh, costs. So what are the costs of not taking action? What are the costs, right? So we want to think of the cost of growth, right? We we shudder at that. Oh my God, I got to spend X, Y, and Z more money. 
All right. But what's the actual cost of not taking those actions? Okay. So if your company stays the exact same size that it is right now, and you do the exact same things, what's your projected? Is it where you want to be? No, of course not. Right. So if we calculated the cost of taking immediate action today, all right, let's just say that we, you know, we risk $15,000. Okay. And let's say again, like I said, the worst case scenario, you grow by 20%. The worst case, let's say even 10%. Doing a million bucks, you're now doing $1.1 million. Okay. Is that 15K worth $1.1 million? Absolutely. Right. I take that bet all day. I, I mean, in my business, we fight for one, two or 3% improvement to our bottom line. That's, that's huge for us. Okay. Um, for guys that are starting out, you have a better advantage over me in terms of growth, in terms of big wins. All right. So again, you want to grow your business 10 to 15%. If you haven't been following up, if you don't have a marketing strategy, if you're not implementing at least four or five of the free 101 marketing strategies that I've given to you on this, on these calls, all right, you're truly doing a disservice to yourself. Okay. That means your business isn't going to grow and there's an expense to inaction. Okay. That expense is going to be, is, is fairly easy to calculate, right? Is there a loss in not growing a business? Absolutely. Absolutely. There is. Okay. Is there a loss when it becomes harder for you to acquire a customer when you let technology and other people develop in your market by not taking your piece of the pie? hundred percent. Okay. Is there a loss to not, you know, generating more business out of the same customers by not coming back to them with new offers, by not thinking creatively about your offer? hundred percent. Okay. It costs five times as much to generate new business than it does to keep the business that you already have. Okay. How do we do that? Well, we've gone through those strategies. We've talked about it, right? We want to implement those things quickly. We want to be able to, again, maintain customers that we already have, give them the wow factor. Um, again, use systems to offer new things down the line, keep in touch with them, ask them for referrals and reviews. Okay. What's that going to lead to? More business, right? It's almost impossible. Even if you got one customer out of it, all right, and taking that action, is that not one more customer than you would have had? Absolutely, right? Again, what's the expense of doing nothing? Well, it's no new customers. It's more expensive to generate new customers. So again, you're almost shooting yourself in the foot. I hope that, again, you guys are, are doing the calculations in your head. And, and I know this is on the very logical side of our brains, um, but it really does most often come down to that. What's stopping you from getting to where you want to go is in most cases you, all right? It's got nothing to do with the markets. It's got nothing to do with, um, you know, the economy. It's got nothing to do with any of that, all right? Those are just limiting beliefs you've installed in your programming that tell you that I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm scared, okay? That's all it is, all right? I've pro I could prove to you that businesses, good businesses, Businesses that follow good proven systems grow through recession. They grow through downturns. Why is that? It's because they're not scared. They're taking imperfect actions. They're taking actions towards their goals every single day. All right. And they continue to push that momentum. And when everybody else goes, oh, the economy is crashing. I'm going to shut down. I'm going to get small. All right. And to me, there's no excuse for getting small. All right. If you want to play small, you're going to get small rewards. All right. So this is an opportunity to really think about those habits and those behaviors that may have stopped you in the past, all right? And realize the benefits of being uncomfortable and taking action today, um, even if it's imperfect, all right? We've talked about it. I don't, I would, I would, you know, take imperfect action happening today, a hundred times over, you know, calculated thought out actions that are going to take a month, two months to implement, because the reality is they probably won't happen. Right. And even if they do happen by the time that those results are bet, you get the benefits from those results. We're already 90 days down the road. All right. Meanwhile, the guy that started today, you know, even, you know, jumped on his community page and started taking, you know, concise action. He's going to have already learned and implemented things 10 times more valuable than the guy that's, that's going to wait. Okay. How does that make you feel? What's that, what's that encourage you guys to do?
and who's taking action. That's what I want to know. All right. So I'm looking at a few faces here. I'm going to call out. I want to get one action that you're planning to take from this whole conversation that we've had. So Nick, give me, give me one action that you are going to take immediately. What's one thing you're going to do that's, that's going to change things, the course that your business is on. Separate from the offer, mm -hmm. separate, from, separate from like doing all no, the No, no, you can, you can use your offer. I mean, you, again, you've been doing the work through it. So if that's your action item and you've already taken the steps on it, um, that's, well, your... that's, that's, that's the, that's the one that kind of comes with it. Like, obviously mm -hmm. I'm going to do that. I'm working. I'm just emailing the guy from the finance set right now. We're the, doing the offer, but also mm -hmm. one thing I want to do on top of that, like separate from that is that thing that you said, like doing a, like going on like Reddit and just having an account and just like chatting you guys in like the Facebook community, just maybe mm -hmm. like I'll just put like once a day, just try to engage and yeah. something like that to add to the. Like, you know, like the credibility of the business, something like that. Right. So that one five minute a day activity, just putting it on your phone and, and responding. I mean, what's the worst case scenario out of that? No, I get some karma likes. Right. I don't know. That's the worst case. Now, the best case is you land a job. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So risk to reward here. Pretty good. Right. Not much of a not much of a risk. It's just a it's a five minute a day activity. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So now again, what you... all this stuff, that's uh, what I want to try to do, to do now. I love that. I love that. Um, Trevor, what's, uh, what's one action item that you're going to take from all of this that you can implement today? I am going to start uh, getting some content on social media. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Probably on FB and Instagram. Uh, for now, I don't do TikTok yet, I guess, but I, maybe down the road I will. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. So again, the same, the same, the same um, conversation. What, what is the the risk of that? Right. What What's the risk? I don't know if there really is any risk as long as you're, uh, um, you know, as long as it's clean and stuff, right? As long right. As it's sure. Not, it's not untasteful and stuff like that. Yeah. So, I mean, you're just not being an idiot, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So again, if you just jumped on and made one quick video and didn't really think about it, is that going to have any harm on your brand or your business? No, I don't think so. Right. As okay. Long, again, as long as it's kind of legitimate. Okay. What if two customers seen that same video and, you know, reached out to you and you booked two calls from it? I guess you're two for two. So you're batting at a thousand, right? Right. That's a thousand percent return. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a, actually two hundred percent return. Yeah, uh, I guess two percent. Yeah, yeah. So again, here's here's where we get at, right? Is what's stopping us, right? What stopped us in the past? Why haven't you already done this? Um, comfort levels, I guess. Right. Okay. So has your comfort level kept you in the same space that you're in right now? It has. Yeah. Okay. It's, so. Uh, Again, stepping outside that comfort level. I mean, you just you just communicated to me like there's nothing but reward, really, right? Yeah, okay. that's right. So that's that's what I mean. Like that, I think we're all in some ways or another. Even meet myself, we're all stuck in that, you know, potential things. We've all thought or procrastinated on doing something, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, right. So now is our our chance. Take action, right? Here's the yeah. thing. I want, again, everyone to um, feel the accountability of a community. So when you do take that action, I want you to post it on the group. You know, we've been doing a great job. Everybody here has posted their offers. All right. The next step to this is post post what you've done. Okay. And the community will support you, right? We're going to get more momentum from that, right? Be able to help you with that content. Like, again, lean on the the people that are here to support you. And watch your results, you know, go up from there, right? Yeah. Make sense? Yep. Okay. Um, Johnny. Hello. Give me one thing you're going to take immediate action on. Uh, it's probably just taking action. Like I, I do overanalyze things mm -hmm. and try to understand things perfectly before taking action and I just got to stop and, and start for sure doing things and not waiting for the perfect time to do it or wait till I know everything or feel comfortable. Sure. So, and, and the truth is there's no perfect time, 
Okay. Yeah. Then I, I've never, I've never done anything where I felt it was a hundred percent perfect. You know, I've gotten to the point where if I'm 80% sure something will work, I just do it. Right. And that's all I need. And yeah. again, 80, 70%, like, and, and really it's just about weighing the consequence. What is, what is the consequence of this, this in like action or no action. Right. Yeah. And it, you know, it's pretty easy to talk yourself into it now where we do need again, support. And we definitely support you is like when you do take action, right. It's okay to like, put it out there. You put your offer out there, right. You got feedback on it. How much yeah. more confident do you feel in your offer now? Much better. And even just going through and doing that offer and, mm -hmm. and it just, it, uh was it the dopamine hit just having yep. something done at the end of it was mm -hmm. noticeable so absolutely like, hey, i got something done this is um progress and that's keep right on going though now right it's real right yeah so and again recognize something guys here even when you guys were doing your apprenticeships even when you're coming up like we all learn through mistake all right so let's just say in the worst case your your offer flops it's no good. The market doesn't want it. What have we learned? Well, we can cross that one off, right? Are we going to give up? No, probably not. We still have to make a good offer. So there's always opportunity and growth in that learning. All right. And there is no guarantees that everything will work out. All right. But again, versus doing nothing. All right. You're still back in the same place. All right. So again, I challenge you guys all and, and embrace the uncomfortableness. Embrace it. When at when at one time in your entire life have you done anything meaningful where it felt comfortable? Anybody? Like anybody have an example for me? Right? When you started your business, was that comfortable? Was that mm -hmm. like you, you know? Of course not. Right? Every decision we make, every every step we make, every challenge we overcome is not comfortable. We're either forced to do it, or we take action and we make it happen right? Which side do you want to be on? All right. I'll promise you that there's very little less downside in taking imperfect action than there is in not taking action. All right. That's the epitome of being stuck in my mind. Right. And then even when things do fail, all right, the more you fail, the more that these things set back, I've failed way more than I've succeeded. I can, I can assure you of that. I spent a whole decade failing. All right. And then one day it just clicked. All right. And now from all of those failures, you know, I've been able to, you know, get to where I want to be and, and further than I ever imagined. Right. Even being here with you guys, like that's not something I could have imagined five, five years ago. That's not something in my wildest dreams I'd imagine. Right. So again, things change. Right. And it's all about being able to step outside that comfort zone. And it's the muscle that you build in doing that. Right. It's the, it's the courage that it takes. It becomes more natural. Again, once you realize that there is no boogeyman on the other side, <laughs> you know, it makes it so much easier to take things. And that's when you see explosive growth in companies, right? You see big changes start to happen. You see big, you know, improvements. And then it starts to come even naturally. It becomes even easier to do those things. Um, I think Jonathan. Jonathan, are you there? Oops. Yeah. Yeah. I was saying, there yeah, but I was on mute. I, I, I don't know why my video is not working. That's ah, okay. That's I keep okay. We're just it, but nothing comes in. Uh, all good. Um, tell me, like, what's one one thing that you are prepared to take action on from you know the time you spent with us? Oh, uh, the CRM. It became okay. it became my number one priority by far. Uh, the follow up. Uh, I yep. need to do email campaigns, and and I get awesome. so busy, I always forget. And when I follow up, it's three or four days later, and Oof. they've already talked to another contractor, if not two. There's there's a couple million bucks on the table right there. Yeah. Right. Uh, just, I, just I, that I alone. Research that. Right. Yep. So, I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, um, these are, you know, I pick these things for a reason, right? Most contractors fail to do them and then wonder why their sales are, you know, not growing. We just add that to it. I mean, it's in, like, there is no downside to, to following up. Is there? No, no. And, and I'm excited about it. Actually. I mean, it's yeah. something that I haven't done. Mm -hmm. uh, I should have been doing for a decade. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to see where it goes. Wow. That's uh, that's pretty powerful. A whole decade you've known you should do it, but haven't had the ability, time or courage to, to implement. Exactly. Or, or, or hire somebody to do it for me. Yeah. Exactly. Well, that's always the easy, easy, easier answer. Right. And then if yeah. you did have all that, what, 
you know, what would that empower you to do next? Oh, uh, it would empower me to get more business oh, and to okay. get out there, uh, get out there more with the estimations and everything and following up well, as, right. as they're following up with the CRM mm -hmm. and everything else and get it out there and get more jobs. So you mean the consequence of taking imperfect action today is actually just growth in your company? Exactly. Yeah. Ah, that's, that's a terrible scenario. <laughs> I'm joking. Yep. I'm joking. Well, I agree. I right. Agree. So, I mean, I like again, not on. a lot of, love it. not a lot of risk or downside to it. Right. So, I mean, ultimately you feel clear, you feel confident. I do. Awesome. Awesome. Do. Then, then I've, I've delivered the value I promised. So yeah. let's talk about again, you know, a way to keep yourself accountable, not just today, not while we're just excited. You know, this isn't a Tony Robbins conference. Um, you know, I'm, I'm more about the action and, and the trackable action after the, after we, we have this discussion, I want to see every single person exceed here that spent the time with me and has gone through this process. Um, and the way you're going to do that, all right, the way you're going to repay me for my time that I've spent with you, all right, is by sharing your wins. All right. I want to see those wins. I want to see that you've taken these actions. Um, and, you know, if you want the accountability, we've got that in the community as well. And that's going to lead to long term growth. Right. We're going to keep these things happening. All right. They're going to be positively reinforced. And that's how our little human brains work. Right. It's risk and reward. So um, just on everybody watching on the stream, if you want to uh, check out the contractor AI, the accelerator program, the startup, um, we have a great deal on that. If you're interested, you can book a call um, or check us out again. Um, you know, let our, our results speak for themselves there. And if you are struggling with anything that you would like help for, um, we do actually implement full systems for you, um, all while helping you with the um, the other areas of your business, such as strategy, pricing, um, you know, HR. So we want to make sure that uh, you guys get the help you need. Um, we have our face, our our school community as well, where we have a ton of free knowledge, a ton of free information. I've been told that I give away more. Um, information than most coaching programs that are paid. I've um, got that quite a few times. So, I mean, again, please take me up on the free resources that we share. Um, and again, um, our mission is to help contractors no matter what, right? So um, hope everybody's gotten some value from everything that I've shared here. And again, like I said, excited to see you guys take immediate imperfect actions. Thanks for your time, guys. Thank, Thank you, Drew. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye.